As a federal team arrives in Chicago to assist with the measles outbreak at this shelter on Halstead Street, we are learning of even more confirmed cases of measles. Three new cases of measles at the Halstead shelter for new arrivals. There are now a total of seven confirmed cases of this highly contagious disease related to the shelter. The city's Department of Public Health reports 900 people have been vaccinated but are asked to quarantine as they may have been exposed to measles. Today, a team from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention arrived in Chicago. The team we sent there is everything you said. It's sort of like our, our hybrid folks with um, expertise in measles, both in the technical parts as well as the communication parts. Um, so a variety of people are, are on the ground to support the the state and the and the city. The CDC is among the agencies and healthcare organizations offering assistance at the shelter in testing vaccinations and tracing cases. We have CDC has provided vaccines for the response um, as they need and technical support, laboratory support as well. Despite a 21 day quarantine, some parents tell us they must come out of the shelter to eat, relying on food donations from individuals and organizations like the Southwest Collective. They shared photos of the food they say was spoiled and not edible, especially to the many children who stay here. A resident who did not want to be identified says the food is horrible. She says there was no milk for the children. Adding to the food insecurity for families, school age children who had been able to get breakfasts and lunches at their schools can't do that anymore due to the quarantine. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.